Hey guys, welcome to another video today. And this is going to be a video about the biggest thing that I find that indie game developers, even big name developers that seem to get wrong. And it's one thing that you should always understand when you're going to start any game, any project, anything that you do, it's looking at object scaling and your whole scaling of your overall scene. Now there's so many, so many uh, indie games where I've seen that the scaling is all wrong. So let me give you an example. Here, my character's at a default size, which is a si uh, the size that I set, which is about one meter uh, per unit, which is the character is 1.8 meters, which is around the six foot high character. And this kind of looks like how I wanted it to be. Obviously this is fantasy, sci-fi, whatever you want, and it can be however you want it to look. Now, if I make the height of the character really, really small, you can see that he's not as high as I wanted him to be. He can't see over a lot of the assets and maybe that's not what I wanted to go for. Maybe if it was going, if I was going for a, like a child in the scene that that's fine. But there's one thing that you want to remember, like I mentioned, if on my FPS controller, you can see that the height is one, should be 1.8 meters because Unity's default scale is one meter is one unit and 1.8 meters is an average six foot human being. And you say to me, why is this important? Well, it's important that if you create and author all of your assets to the same scale as what your character will be, you don't need to scale up and down in the engine, bring in other things, be able to have problems later down the line with physics or gravity when a character might be absolutely ginormous because you might import something in from your scene and it might be literally this big when you import it and then you've got to go into the settings, scale it down, scale it down. Then you can keep everything at a default one by one scale and it's perfectly fine. It saves you the hassle in the long run. I've seen this in games like Resident Evil Revelations 2 in Call of Duty Warzone. I'll show you one example here that you can see in Call of Duty Warzone when you see the character, as you imagine in a first person game, the camera that you see out of is essentially the face of the character because you always see it over the top of a weapon. Now you can see on the kitchen worktops and things like that, it, you can barely see over it. It's like it's up to your, just about around where your neck is. And that's not where it would be your countertop for your kitchen in real life. Because imagine if it was that high, you'd barely be able to prepare anything. And if I look at, when I look up at the cupboards, I wouldn't be able to reach. And I think there's a few things, whether it's the FOV of the game or generally the scaling is a little bit off. I mean, these are side objects, so it's it's not totally noticeable because you're usually running around and doing other things. But when it's a focal point of your game and you're having to search through items, maybe in cupboards, you don't want it to look out of keel with the rest of the game. Go up to the objects in real life, go up to them and literally stand next to them, decide, right, this is where I am. How tall am I? doesn't matter. I'm not the tallest, but you can see that my hip is in line with my countertop or roughly the door handle. And then you can see how high you should make something or how scaled. If I have an example, if you go into a 3D program, this is 3DS Max, and I might want to just create a box here in my scene as it would be by default. You can see that the height of that box is 56 meters, and that is absolutely ginormous. You can actually make sure that you check your um, scaling units. This will be different in all 3D programs, but you can Google it online to set unit scales. So you can go in 3ds Max, customize unit setup, and you want to make sure that your metric is on meters and you can do the system. Unit setup is one unit is one meter, just like it is in Unity. What you can do is just create an object in your 3D scene and make it 1.8 meters now. Now, as you can see here, this cube here is 1.8 meters and we need to base our objects essentially off that. You could have a little test scene which has a bunch of objects in here. It could be a, a door, it could be a person, it could be other things and you base your items off the scale of that. It doesn't need to be a precise art, it just saves you the hassle in the long term. And you avoid that that weird scenario where people play your game and think, am I a child? Why is this chair absolutely ginormous? And even get other people to look at the game you make and ask them, does it look right? Do the things in this look right? Unless there's a specific reason, like I say, for it to be either smaller or larger than it would be you in everyday life. So this is the one thing that I will always hammer home to people is I got it wrong when I first started because I didn't really think that 
didn't think about it, just thought I can scale stuff down in the engine. But if you're bringing in lots and lots of thousands of assets and you're making lots of different things, make them to a nice uniform scale. Look at the objects that you add, make sure that your character controller is a good size when you bring it in and just be able to walk up against it and think, does that look right? And if you need an extra opinion, go for it. So hopefully this was something that helped you out and be sure to let me know what you think. Be sure to come and join me on Discord, check out my great assets on the Unity Store and support me on Patreon because it would really, really help me out. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.